using web components is an excellent way to keep your HTML code modular, reusable, and just organized in general. But loading it in a pure HTML context is a bit of a challenge. So here's a sample project that shows you how to do that without using any kind of external frameworks, using just pure JavaScript. Here we're in uh, index HTML of the sample project, and you can see I've got three web components here. And these names are just names that I thought up myself, names that are useful and descriptive to me. So we have these three elements, start view, start modal, and main view. And I've got this project running. We'll have a look at it. This here is the start view. And then I'll click start. This is the modal view. And here's the main view. And there's quite a bit going on in here. But as you see here in the index HTML, that main view is just one very simple line of code. Because this is referring to these component files. And they're also just HTML and CSS. But using web components allows us to inject an entire file right here in a line of code. So we could organize things in a way that makes sense. So let's start by looking at the start view. And it's a header, a couple headers, and a button, right? Just like we saw here, headers and a button. So plain HTML, and it just gets injected where that start view tag is used. Moving down to the main view, things get much more interesting. So as we saw over here, it has a header, it's got a footer, it's got a bunch of buttons in the middle, and it's got this other button down here. So let's have a look at that. In this main view HTML, we actually have components within that component. And there's no end to the level of nesting you can do because it's just injecting the HTML in the right place. So as main view header, we'll look at that. It's just backgrounds, some text. So that's a good example of how to organize your code using web components. But much more interesting is reusability. If we look here, we've got this main menu item used over and over again and we're passing three different parameters into each of those buttons. So we're using the same component over and over, but we're passing parameters into each web component to make each of those elements unique. And we see here the first one, it's using a laptop icon, it has laptop for text, and this extra text says not connected. And on the next item, it's a HDMI icon. Let's have a look at that. So each one of these buttons here is actually the same web component, but we're passing in those parameters, which makes it extensible and reusable and just modular in general. And all of the magic for this happens in this components.js file. It's fairly straightforward. For each one of these HTML files that you've set up, you create a class that extends the HTML element. And then up here, you load that function. And this load view is what actually creates the web component. It takes the class, it gives it the name, and... If you look down here on this last one, that main menu item, this is where we're injecting those parameters. So have a look at the readme on GitHub. Everything's explained how to get started with this in four steps. I hope you found this useful. Visit learnavprogramming.com to continue learning.